Hey guys, it's Talisa and today I'm coming to you with another video. This is going to be a video talking about this wig and some of the products I like to use on it. So basically this is the Sensational Italian Curl Custom Lace Wig. I actually got this wig off of, I want to say, Sister Wigs. And it was $25 or so and then with shipping it was an extra $10 so I got it for $35. Um, this hair basically shipped and about I want to say three days over the weekend so I got this in either a 1B or a 2 I don't really remember but I think it was a 1B as you can tell this is the curls of the hair I did manipulate these curls these curls were a lot more more defined but I decided to just make my own little you know what's the word change up for it or whatever so I just basically um use some water some curling products and things like that to make this wig more of my style this wig was also a lot more thicker so what I did I just took out some of the hair in the back and I got it to the density that I want to be at um now this part of the hair definition of the curls did change um all i did was basically comb out the curls and they never really went back to how they were when i first got the wig um the hair on the top pretty much goes back to how it's supposed to be but the hair on the bottom does not and i'm pretty sure that's because of this hair is more manipulated than the rest of this hair because this hair is on my back and it gets sweat and everything like that so i think that's why that has been changing but overall this wig is really nice um i did have some problems with the lace when i first got it because it was my first lace wig so i basically just cut some more lace so my lace starts way back here but if you can tell there or not but i've been you know trying new things with lace because this is my first time having a lace wig like i said and i just had to get used to it so like i said this is the sensational um Italian curl wig if you want more in-depth details about this hair I will try to find a video and I will link it down below of them going more into the wig but this wig um compared to my outro wig this wig feels amazing on my head it's the best cap construction I've ever had it feels really nice you can barely tell it is on your head this hair is not heavy at all it might look like it but it's not heavy at all and I really like that. Um, now let's get started on what I use on this hair. So I usually define my curls almost every night. I have not defined these curls to this wig because I have been wearing my other wig that I will be doing a video on very soon. But I was using that wig for about two days. So this hair has not been defined since probably about two days. But if I am going to find it, I'm going to show you where I've been using. So, um... This hair cannot hold a lot of product, so I was putting a lot of product in it. So this is washed hair. I washed it with some of my Cantu shampoo and I condition it because the it just holds product. So you don't want to use a lot of product on this hair. But I'm going to show you what I've been using. So I have this little spray bottle right here and I just have some water in it. And I also added some of this Proclaim Shea Butter Leave-In Moisturizer. I actually talked about this product on my haul. And this is a really nice moisturizing product. I like to use this product more so mixed with water so I don't use a lot of it. So basically I just base my hair with this first and just make sure my hair is pretty wet. I love for my hair to be really wet at night and then it dries perfectly. Perfectly. my hair is always dry in the morning um I was using this organics olive oil um hair sheen but now I just use this to just add a little bit more strength to my hair I was using this as my base wetener but now I just went back to water because water doesn't have any products in it except for um me adding this to it but this product right here was just really just too much hold for me so now once i'm done my hair i will just spray a little bit on it but i won't use this as my water per se um now for my edges, I just want to talk about some edge controls that I use because I do have natural 4C hair. So the two edge controls that I use together is the Total Transformation Hicks Edge Control and also the Cream of Nature with Art on Oil Edge Control. So I use this for both of my wigs and they do pretty good because both of my hairs are curly hair. So my hair has a little slight curl to it. So for my natural curly edges to blend in with this wig, it does really good as you can tell. Um, I also use this Shea Solutions Curl Stretch Cream. This is from Dollar Tree. This product actually does really good. It does not add a lot of um, hold to my hair, but it does just make it just 
um defines my curls a little bit um now this product I feel like it had a lot of water in it because like I said, it doesn't hold or it doesn't define a lot, but it is a great step to add into your um your regimen if you are. So I always tend to use this probably near so um more so near the end to just add some moisture, add a little bit more curl definition into it. Um now the things that I feel like I have to use every time I do my hair are either the um Lusty Naturals Argan Oil Curl Twist Cream or the Proclaim Curling Pudding. So the um this one right here, like I said, is a gel based cream. This did amazing on my hair when I first used it. Like I said, this these products do just sit in the hair and the hair does not like a lot of products in it because it got really stiff and it wasn't moving. So if I do use this product, I do not use a lot. I just use a little bit, but it does the best thing at curling the hair. It just makes the curl definition be really good and I really like that. And then this one from Proclaim, I can use a lot more of this product because it's a higher end product and it ha doesn't have a gel base to it. This is just like a cream type of pudding base and it does pretty good. So I do, um, I am a little bit more heavy handed with this cream. Um, this cream does define my curls about just the same as this gel. But what I've been doing lately is I've been using this as my base cream curly pudding and then I go and add a little bit of this gel just to basically lock in those curls and make sure that they're nice and defined and then I go in with the curl stretch cream just to make sure that my stuff is not too shrunken and then it also kind of loosens the curls a little bit so they're not really scrunchy in the morning. Um, what I also use for this hair is I use this little white tooth comb. You always know white tooth comb with curly hair. Um, this hair does tangle a little bit since um, I have washed it, but it doesn't tangle as bad as it possibly could. So I do use this to just basically come out these curls before I do any of my hair regimens. And I also love to use this little um, detangler brush. I actually got this from Dollar Tree. It works fairly well, but it works better on small pieces. So oh, if I get a little piece of hair and it's wet and it has the cream on it I just run through it and it kind of adds a little bit more of a curl definition to it kind of like the denim brush or the something like that that I've been seeing a lot of natural girls been wearing so all these products together pretty much gives me this look to this curly wig um I didn't do an unboxing of this hair, but I'm pretty sure I will be buying this hair again once this one is over. So I will do a video on that when I repurchase it. But I'm just go through with all these products and rate them for you guys. So this first product is the Proclaim Leave-In Conditioner. I give this from 1 to 10. 10 is the highest. I give this product a 9. I love this product so much. I will continue and always use this hair. Use this product on my real hair and any of my wigs. I've always been using this product and I love it so much this product gives me the best shine the, the best conditioning it just feels so good and it smells so good and it's just really sleek so it's not really heavy and it's just a great product the next product is this olive oil hair sheen like i said you don't want to use too much of this product because it will leave um your hair really heavy and it doesn't really move but this is a great product for basically kind of basing your hair you don't want to put too much on like you would water but it just adds a little bit more curl to it and just base it so i give this product probably a seven i give it a seven because like i said i thought i could use a lot of this product but you really don't want to use a lot because it just really weigh your hair down um, the next product is this Curl Stretch Cream from Dollar Tree. Um, this one does really good. Um, it also smells really good. Um, I just like to use this one just as sometimes as a base before I put in any of my other products. But this um, product, could I use it? Could I still have a beautiful wig without this product? Probably so. But does I do I <laughs> do I feel like it adds something to my hair? Yes, because I feel like it does stretch my curls. I feel like it does define my curls and it also makes my hair smell good. But you just cannot use a lot of this product. Yes, when I did use a lot of these products, this hair did come out super, super defined. But the product holding it was just horrible. So I will continue to use this product, just not as much. And this one I will give about an 8. Now, this Naturals Argan Oil... 
um curl twist cream gel it does amazingly like i said when a lot of products in it it really does define the curls but it does add a lot of product to the hair and the hair just holds on to the product i had white little flakes in my hair and stuff and i hate that so um you cannot use a lot of this product, like I said so many times, but this is a great product to just make your curls be extra defined. I swear it is. This product was only a dollar from Dollar Tree, and I love it so much. So I give this about a nine. You just have to use a little, little bit. Okay, and then the last, well, the second to last product I have is the Proclaim Curl, um pudding now this is a product that i can use pretty much heavy handed because it does not leave any product in my hair so this is probably my go-to product if i had this with just some water i would be perfectly fine so i give this product basically a 9.5 to a 10 i love it the only thing i don't like about it is that it doesn't give me the best curl definition as the gel does but once i add the gel in it does amazingly and this is not from dollar tree it's from sally's blue supply and this was like five dollars the last thing I have is the Argan Oil Cream. This does not add a lot of product to my hair. It adds a lot of moisture to it. It doesn't make my hair scrunchy at all. So pretty much if you want some natural looking, not heavy weighted curls, I would probably want you guys to use this trio. But if you want something that's a combination of really defined, like this to me is not defined hair. But if you want something that's a little bit more defined, then I would incorporate these Dollar Tree items to it. But you just have to use more of the higher end products than and less of the Dollar Tree products. And this brush right here they got from Dollar Tree works really well, but it works a lot better if you use it in small sections. So I will be trying to show you guys my curly hair routine. Um, I'll probably upload these videos maybe at the same time this is just a slight review of these products me showing you guys me telling you guys some reviews on these hair products so if you like this video make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye